hi as developers you are welcome to this channel so today what i'm going to show us is how to, i want to introduce us to rust control how to do rust control basically what does it mean it means we want to control joints of our robot so if you are watching this tutorial you can follow along with me you can just download the starter file from the link below but for now i assume that you already have the URDL file and we have the launch file so let us see how our robot looks like in avis let's look how it looks like in avis so i just launch i launch in avis okay cat can make I source and I can launch in Alvis. So in Alvis, what I have is this. So we can see that this is a robot, is an industrial manipulator. So we can see that it can the joints can actually move. It can actually move. I can try to move joints one so that's what we have but we want to see how to actually control the joints such that i want it to move to a particular position so how to do that is what that is the purpose of this tutorial so i'm going to show you a guide i'm going to be following so rust control we have a good follow-up from the yes and there is also another guide cross control gazebo okay so if you check this page what we have there it actually shows us that so these are those things we need to set we need to set our controllers we need to set our hardware interfaces we need to set our transmission tags so basically we do all those things inside our urdf file and we also have some other things we need to do so basically the way it works is if you come here you can see that we have different controllers you need to choose the type of controller to use basically we have effort controller joint state controller position controller velocity controller joint tra tra trajectory controller in this tutorial i'm going to be making use of effort controller and joint state controller so basically with effort controllers we are going to be using a pid controller and i'm going to be controlling it with a joint position controller so if you come here what we first of all need to do is we can just copy this guy and we come to our manipulate uh, you have their file just before the end of the file we paste it so we need to define a namespace we can call this namespace manipulator for our robots so we have the plugin so we have the plugin so basically this is what is important so after we've done the pop plugin we need to set our transmission tag we need to set our we need to set our transmission tag we need to set our controller so what I just need to do is I come here, I just copy one of these and I paste it here. You can see it's making use of effort joint interface, but this is not going to work. We need to make a simple modification to it. So trans one joint one. So this is asking us which joint are we setting a transmission for, which means you need to know the name of your joints. So actually we can see this is the name of our joint. So I just come here i said q1 so i set the name of the joint to be q1 and another thing i need to do is i need to modify this effort joint interface slightly because if we run it it's not going to run it has been updated so we just need to add that okay it is an hardware interface so we do this and we 
we also come here and we do the same so just put hardware interface for it so basically we've done this we need to now repeat the same process for all the other joints so basically we want to do it six times so we can just come chance to q2 moto 2 so we can do that so this is actually q2 and we come here so this is the setting we need to do for all our joints and I do the last two joints so after we set our transmission tags we need to create a configuration file for it which i'm going to be showing you how to do in in the next video so basically we set our transmission our transmission tags there and we set our config file where we specify the values of the pid we are going to be making use of so at the end of the day we are done with our URDF file now and we are good to go the next video i'm going to be showing you how to set the pid values in a config file